We're talking about leading lines, both the visible and invisible kind. I wanna give you some ideas of where to find them and why they're important to use in your photographs. Welcome back to Quick Tip Friday, where every Friday I'm gonna give you a photographic tip to take with you into the weekend to practice or think about, hopefully practice. So let's jump in with what is a leading line. A leading line is a line that exists in the world. It could be a shadow, could be a railing, be a street line, anything that leads your viewer's attention into your subject. There's another thing called vanishing point. If you look at, I mean, an old school thing that people used to take photos of was train tracks. If you stand on a train track and you look down towards the horizon, you notice that the lines of the train tracks kind of intersect. That's called the vanishing point. So putting your subject in the middle of a vanishing point is a great way to use a leading line in a photo. Other ways are using shadows. So if the sun's overhead, a shadow's being cast in a building, then you put your subject directly under the shadow or to the side of it. You're gonna bring your viewer's attention straight down the shadow right to your subject. This example is using harsh light. I have a whole video on working in harsh light. I'll, I'll link it in the description below. But some other examples of Leading lines are in between buildings. You can see here the buildings are drawing you into the subject's face. I recently went to a hardware store with my stepdad and I noticed that the aisles were really narrow. So I took out my phone and just used the ultra wide lens, which is a great way to get leading lines in a tight space. You can see the aisles are drawing your attention straight down to him who's filling the middle of the frame. Other examples of leading lines are people's limbs. Here I was trying to do a family portrait of just body parts. You can see the mother's arms are bringing your attention down into the baby's feet and the baby's legs are also bringing your attention into the baby's feet. You can see leading lines can be almost anything. Uh, and one of the ones that's kind of overlooked is somebody's eyesight or their what they're looking at. So here's a photo of a guy where he's just sitting on a bench and all these birds are looking at him, probably wanting food. But if you think about it, when you drive by, say a car accident or something, and you notice a crowd of people looking in one direction, you are gonna look into that same direction. Their attention is leading you into whatever subject. So that's another great example of a leading line. So you don't necessarily always have to have an element that's in the frame, if you have multiple subjects and you wanna have them look at each other or look at an object that you want your viewer to pay attention to, then you just direct your subject's eyesight straight to that object, and now you as the viewer is gonna look at that object just because that's our human nature. So last week's quick tip was on subframing. Here's an example of leading lines leading you into a subframe. If you wanna learn more about subframing, head over to this video next. It's all about subframing, how to include it in your photos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.